Good morning. Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy, and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the 2nd of February. Now, first I just want to thank all you guys for all your comments and, and subscribing to my channel and watching my crazy videos first off because I know they're quite out there sometimes. Um... And I just want to let you guys know that YouTube is really controlling the loading of my videos. They're taking like almost a day to load my videos. It's so slow. Um, they're not just putting them on when I load them. They're just, they're holding them back and it's got pending, pending. And I can see the percentage. They just take, it's like moving 1% every like hour. It's like crazy. Um, so they're controlling a lot of that. So it's not me late or anything. I'm always, I'm a very prompt person, guys. So that's why my videos seem to be a bit, <laughs> well, you know, they just arrive whenever YouTube decides to put them up, basically. Same old control. Um, the other thing I just quickly wanted to mention was, did you guys see the Biden? Yeah, what an absolute continuation of the clown show in America that is. No offense to you guys if you're living there. It's nothing to do with you. It's just purely about your government and Biden. We all know it is. I'm sure you guys feel the same anyway. Um, <clears throat> I was on the news here in Australia this morning that, oh yes, they've gone and investigated his house and searched it for any more documents. It was a big show, big hoo-ha, and but they didn't need to raid it. That he he's fully cooperated with them and they found absolutely nothing. Is it Mar at his Mar-a-Lago beach house or whatever it was? And they found absolutely nothing. Of course they found nothing. We knew what last week that they'd find nothing because they were hiding all the evidence. Remember I kept saying, quick burn, hide all the evidence, burn all the evidence. They're having a conniption. Remember? Mm. We knew the evidence was going to be gone and we don't even work for the FBI or whatever it is. And then they, on the news here in Australia, they continued to highlight how, <clears throat> well, he didn't need to be raided like Donald Trump did, you know, because he wouldn't cooperate. But Biden has fully cooperated. I think this is just so that Peter Ducey, is it, doesn't keep asking that je What's it, Corinne Jean-Pierre or whatever her name is, the press secretary, any more questions about it? They're trying to get him off her back, I think. I don't know. What a circus show, clown show, bunch of lies that all was. So that's what we're getting in Australia, that Biden has been fully cooperative and nothing to find in his house at all. No more documents. It's all over. That's what they're trying to portray anyway. Anyway. Let me know what you guys think about it all, but just some more circus show. I saw Biden's house gets um, searched and I was like, oh, great, finally, something on the mix. And then when the, they did the story, I just went, oh, <laughs> it was just back to the more clown show. We, we still always have hope, don't we, <laughs> that the truth will come out. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get back to the real stuff. What's going on in the world? All right, I'll close my eyes, guys. We'll get started. If you're new here, bear with us. We get a lot of analogies and visuals, and we also get tons of music sometimes. All right, so I'll get started. We'll see what comes up. <clears throat> God, I'm getting that song again. I got it the other day. It's by the Beatles. And it's called Day Tripper. And I think it came up when we were, all of us freedom fighters were on in our combi van, weren't we? And we were cruising along, having a bit of a surf and safari down the um, the coastal beach towns, um, trying to escape all the nonsense that's currently going on. But I'm getting this, um, I'm getting this, the words in that song are, it took me so long to find out, I found out. Um, anyway, I'm getting this, that, that's the words I'm getting for the people waking up, for the sleepwalkers. It's taking them so long to find out and sort of join our road trip. Not that, like I said though the other day guys, I don't think we're all going to be very compatible, to be quite honest, anymore. Because we're all um, living differently now, aren't we, basically? We've moved on as Freedom Fighter Braveheart bikers. We've moved on and found our own sort of terrible, our own freedom and our space, our happy place. So these people are taking so long to find out. So I think that's why we're getting that Day Tripper song. 
It is taking them so long to figure all this out, guys, isn't it? They're still in their denial bubble suits. We know that they are. Some are coming out, some are unzipping. Um, you know, people are waking up to a lot of the other things. Maybe not the jab event. I don't know how they keep falling for that pin cushion. I might call it the snake venom now. Oh, maybe that's why I'm getting so fact-checked. <laughs> um, but there's so much corruption. You can't believe this is on such a large scale and on, and and so well done. You've got to give it to these global elites and the, and the mainstream media. They keep covering it up and just covering it up, sweeping it under the rug, covering it up with the rug. They're doing a good job. We've got to give them, you have to give them some credit. Not that we want to, but you do have to for their lies because they're pretty bloody good. Oh. All right. Let's see where else we go. <clears throat> God, I'm just getting this image. I've had this once before a long time ago, guys, about toes curling up. Um, <laughs> the guys are saying, like, when we find out some of the stuff that the reset's going to roll out in, what we call it, part two of the rollout, part two of the reset rollout, um, it's going to make our toes curl up. Like, we're going to go, <gasps> even we're going to get a shock. They're just showing me this picture of, like, toes curling up, like, I'm just trying to, it's like, even we're going to, and this is for us guys, like we're going to like, it's like, it's weird, isn't it? It's like, we're going to just be standing there in shock and our toes will even curl. Um, It's like a shock thing. Even we're going to get shocks from what happens this year. Wow. That is not good if we're going to get a shock because we see a lot of what's coming. But I keep saying there's a lot that we don't know about. God, how, how could this get any more obvious to these people that are asleep? I don't get it. I know you guys are the same. We're getting frustrated again, aren't we? Okay, we've got to keep the frustration down. That whole Biden thing didn't help this morning when I saw that on the news. I was like, oh, my God. I knew what you guys would be thinking. All right. Let's keep going. So there's going to be some shocks and it's making our toes curl, whatever that means. <laughs> it might actually, that's probably what it means. If you think about toes curling up, if you, if you haven't got toes to give you that stability when you're walking, um, it can make you feel a little unstable as well. So I'm thinking that even us, even though we see a lot of things coming, it might even make us feel a little unstable. And look, I think we could all pretty much say the economy's doing that to everyone. You know, it's, it's affecting all of us. Um, and there's going to be other things as well. So we know that's going to happen. We're going to feel a little unstable with our toes curled up. Um, but we're still grounded. See, if you think about feet with the toes curled up, you, our feet are still on the ground. We're still pretty stable, but we're just going to feel a little unsteady is the image I'm getting for all of us. Um, and that's even with seeing it coming. Well, not all of it. See, we don't see it all. Um, hang on a minute. <clears throat> God, I'm getting London again. And they're showing me them, like, putting streamers up. I mean, they probably aren't literally putting streamers up, but it's this big fanfare. This coronation is going to be, like, the huge fanfare. It's going to be, like, they're trying, <laughs> I keep saying, they're trying to turn it into the global party. They want it to be fun and positive and... Not all the drama that it has been. <sighs> Sorry, guys, but everybody's tired of the royals. That's exhaustion. People are sick of hearing about them. They really are. So that's why they're trying to turn the royal Kardashians around. I call them the royal Kardashians here if you're new. Um, they're trying to improve their image. So they're going to make it this big fanfare that's going to be like shot out to the world. And everyone's going to see how wonderful the royals are. So they're going to really build this pageantry up now. It's starting. I'm getting the streamers and things being <laughs> like a great big party. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> I wonder if we'll get an invite. <laughs> the anti-government, anti-everything people. I doubt it. Um, so that's what I'm seeing for England. I mean, yeah, England, London. 
Um, th there's a lot of preparation going into this. Oh, imagine all the money they're spending on it. Can you just imagine the cost and the bills? Oh no, we'll never hear <coughs> about that. We'll never hear about the cost of everything. Oh my goodness. Oh, and they'll have all the, <laughs> can you imagine all the VIPs will be arriving for that event? Imagine that week leading up to, uh, all the VIPs will be getting flown in on their private jets. Um, oh yes, it'll be all very under cover of darkness of night. So no one sees them flying on their jet. So this is gonna be a big, big event to reinvent all. Well, yeah, reinvent the royal branding. Oh my gosh. Um, like I said just a minute ago, everyone's tired of it. So they're not really that interested. Well, the little people aren't because they're all nearly broke and can hardly afford to live. Mm. All right, enough of the royals. <laughs> Let's see where else we go. Get in France. Oh. Macron is just a hard hitter. They're showing me him like, <laughs> they're showing me him playing tennis against the people. It's like this tennis game and he just keeps whacking it. He's doing those really, you know when you see someone do a really intense volley on the tennis court and they just whack the crap out of it. And of course you've got no chance of hitting it. That's what Macron's doing to the little people. He's just whacking them with like tennis balls. He's just coming so hard at the little people over there. And, and it's like the little people, if you think of it, it'd be like a little junior tennis player, like 10 years old playing a real um, elite professional tennis player. Um, they're not able to hit one ball and they're having to dodge being hit by, you know, a ball going 160 miles an hour um, or whatever. <laughs> Kilometres an hour in, in Australia, sorry. I get muddled up, you know what I'm like. Um, it, it's like that. That's what's happening to the people in France. They're having to dodge and weave and avoid. And um, But this is good, guys, because it might help to wake people up because um, that means they're trying to avoid their government when they're being hit that hard um, with bloody tennis balls. The, uh, I guess the good thing would be if one actually hit them, they'd probably wake up, <laughs> you know, meaning, you know, part of the reset or if something starts to hit them really hard, maybe that would wake them up. This is just an analogy, guys, of the tennis court. But that's what I'm getting from Macron in France. He's hitting really hard and he's hitting repetitively. He's just coming at them so hard um, that the people are trying to avoid being hit which is going to be impossible moving forward because it's going to affect every aspect as we know the reset of everybody's lives um no one's going to avoid it oh except sorry tell a lie <laughs> the global elites of course big pharma you know all the important people so they think they are okay Oh, I'm still getting this image. I'm getting this image of one day, this is all you guys watching my channel, we're going to shine like these real beacons of light. It's showing me, it's showing, often the guides, guys, um, put us up on this mountaintop, right? And, and it's saying that we're going to be shining up there like these beacons of light. Now, this isn't about ego. We know it never is on my channel. It's always done with great humility. But we're going to be like these beacons of light and, and it's showing all of us like these um, lighthouses and we're going to keep flashing our lights. And, and see, this isn't about, well, it is about light and glowing and all that sort of thing, but this is about the truth. We're highlighting the truth to these people. So we're going to look back in time and we're going to realize that we were that beacon of light. Like I said, we were the ones who stood up in the beginning and a lot of you here I know have stood up along the way and, and joined, you know, these freedom movements and to have your voice heard. So we've we've managed to find this strength together um, in groups and by mm, sharing our stories, I guess. But we're going to eventually be like this huge light of this huge... Uh, group of lighthouses. What do you call a group of lighthouses? A flock of lighthouses? <laughs> oh, I wonder what you would call that. I don't know. We can make a name up. We make a lot of things up here. Um, so we're going to become this flock of lighthouses. 
<laughs> oh, I think I got that from that song Flock by Flock of Seagulls or something, didn't I? But anyway, we're going to all be shining these really bright lights to keep guiding. Because you think what a lighthouse does, it guides the ships through the night or through the stormy seas. And see... We're going to end up eventually being the lighthouse in the storm because we know these people, sleepwalkers, people waking up, anyone who's been in denial or who is just avoiding the truth, they're going to have to face it. It's not going away. It's going to get worse and it's going to get really bad. They're going to have to start to look. So they're going to have to come to the light, I'm, I'm saying, out of the darkness and into the light. Um, because they're being smothered in darkness at the moment. So that's what the guides keep saying. We are going to look back and eventually we'll realise that we were the lighthouse. We were the lighthouses because we're there's a flock of us <laughs> um, in the storm, the storm that these people are about to get hit with because I still keep getting it. 2023 is the big shift, the Great Awakening. It's like a storm coming and just collapsing everything down and causing all this destruction I'm still getting that for this year so that's what the guides keep saying to me about these lighthouses we're all like little individual lighthouses but all together see it, if you think about it you think of one lighthouse and it kind of flashes but then you put a heap of lighthouses together wow that's just a continuous like massive light that that would send out so this is why i always talk about those strength in numbers you should you've got a lot more um sort of light energy um hang on a minute Let's see where else we go <clears throat> oh the guides are just saying and i think most of us could relate to this that a lot of people who were jabbed are becoming like more fair weather friends now. I think, I think, and I talked about this yesterday, that we're all vibrating differently now on different levels. We're seeing things from different um, stages in our life. Um, and it's very hard to connect with people who don't, who aren't like-minded. And I think that's why a lot of them are becoming fair weather friends now. They're just like drifting into the distance. Um, I'm finding that. I know probably you guys are finding that too. I'm just not connecting with these people anymore. I've found, and I know you guys would have too, a lot of people don't want to have much to do with us because we're classed as the big conspiracy theorists and anti-vaxxers and anti-government and we're pretty much anti-everything, which is totally fine by us, but a lot of people don't want to be associated with that. So you're going to find you've got a lot of fair weather friends that are just like, it's showing me like, <laughs> it's showing me them like drifting off on a little dinghy, like a lot of our... Well, I lost a lot of friends. I know you guys did too, and family. But they're just saying, like, just untie the rope and let their little dinghy go now. You don't have to hang on t to people just because. Um, sometimes you've got to go and let them have their journey too. And, and that's how you allow them to go and experience things as well, especially with their waking up process, which, as we know, is not easy. Um, so fair weather friends untie the rope. I think I said that the other day, didn't I? We're talking about friends just to let people go sometimes. And, and and it allows you to move on because you're no longer sort of, well, I guess you could say tethered to that person or you're no longer um, anchored sort of as well to those people from the past. And I know that's really hard. And I mean, it depends who the person is, obviously. But you have to allow yourself to move forward, even if that means that you're leaving people behind, is what the guides are saying. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's see where else we go. Oh, God, I'm getting pharmaceuticals. Uh, making an absolute packet. Well, this would be Big Pharma. We know that they are. That's no secret here on my channel. Um, but this is, they're sort of saying this is branching out further. This is branching out further. Um, it feels to me like they're starting, we know Big Pharma, but it's like, you know, we have the doctors and the, the jab wheel and all this kind of stuff where all the money's kind of being you know, filtered out but I feel like their little tentacles we talked about that yesterday are starting to filter out into other things um 
here in Australia they're building or they're starting to emerge these special clinics that are in between like hospitals so they're gonna be more for like emergencies and things like that so they're they're creating these big clinics um, so I am getting that there's these sort of spreading of the tentacles out into society um, that they're, they're creating more ways of making more and more and more money um, I'm even getting um, pharmacies like the chemists I feel like there's gonna be something around big pharma um, to do with the chemists they might even introduce more of that we know they did a lot of jabbing during the jab event in chemists and pharmacies they allowed that to happen so I feel like this might become a more permanent fixture so the more people they can get out there to give the jabs the more um, they're going to get in arms. So this is why I feel like their little tentacles are spreading. Um, that's just what I'm getting. And they're going to make it easier for people people to access the jab. And of course, it's always going to sound so wonderful, like everything's free and your government looks after you. And they're going to sell these packages again. So it's just going to be like getting... It is. We knew it always was going to be just like getting the flu. We always knew that. Well, yes, that's what they're creating. The tentacles are spreading to make it very easily available for the people and peasants to get their lovely mm, jabs that are now the immortal CV jabs, pretty much. Oh, God, how do people not see through this, guys? I just don't understand. And Africa avoided all these things like the plague and their riders reign. They've got no CV bloody madness going on over there because they would all have natural immunity oh yeah but oh sorry not allowed to speak about that i forgot there's no such thing it doesn't exist in big farmers <laughs> narrative oh, oh god i'm so over this guys <laughs> all right let's see what else there is to close with today <clears throat> I'm getting that song again by Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Relax. We have to relax. We have to really um, take a chill pill, the guides are saying. They, they understand why we get worked up. They said they understand it. Um, they can see why things trigger us. God, look at the Biden thing. That just triggers us all, doesn't it? Just more lies. Um, why things trigger us. Because there seems to be... I think the big common thread that a lot of us go through is just the corruption. And there's no justice. It feels like no one, like, look at Fauci. Like, and he'll just walk away and, and there's like no justice ever. Um, I think that's, and that's why the guys are saying we have to just relax. We have to like relax knowing that more and more people are waking up because they are. Um, hang on. Like the guys are saying, we know it's the gift that keeps give, keeps on giving, which is a CV virus. Um, but you got to remember, and the guys are saying that people aren't taking. And when people stop taking, the plan doesn't go to plan. So, you know, it's like I said the other day with the renewables industry, with that guy that my husband knows. He called out the BS and they're big jabbers. His wife's the one with the paralyzed face that had the palsy thing from I would say definitely a booster because they're very jabbed up um so people are waking up so we have to relax and just allow this to unfold because it is that's what the guides keep saying um people be people know they're being taken down and and who's taking them down it ain't us it's their government you know that's what the guides want to highlight to you guys the government is the one destroying people's lives you know one minute we're saving the whole world and saving everyone and now we're destroying everybody you know not a lot of logic in there and i don't think they're in the mass psychosis or hopefully they're not <laughs> for um sorting that info out all right i'll see what else there is <clears throat> Um, 
I'm getting this song and it's by, F I'm sure it's Fleetwood Mac. Stevie Nicks, I got the name today, guys. Um, just like the white wings of sing song sounds like she's singing. Ooh, baby, ooh, baby, ooh. And I see you. And, 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 and. Um, sorry, I don't know what that song's called. Just like the white wings of sing song sounds like she's singing. So what they I don't know what the song's about, guys, but it is a Fleetwood Mac song. Um, oh, fluff in my mouth. Stevie Nicks sings it. Um, <clears throat> white wings of. I uh, see they're giving me. You know what's weird is they're giving me a crossover. They're giving me a picture of the eagle. We get the eagle a lot here on my channel, guys. Us soaring above um, things, so we're able to see them. That eagle rising up into our eagle strength and energy. Um, and having that great vision because if you think of eagles, they have fantastic vision. They can see things from miles away and hone in on a little mouse or something and just sw swoop down and pick it up. Um, but I'm getting this white wings. So we have these white wings and it comes back to that lighthouse thing. Um, that's why I think we're getting this song because we have these white wings, meaning oh, it's kind of like, I guess <laughs> in a corny way, it's kind of angelic. Um, that's the image I'm getting. Um, it's an angelic form. But but really it's not. I think we're just getting the angelic form because what it means is we've moved through our, um, our dimensions and we're, we're now able to lift ourselves like the eagle and see things from these other dimensions. Um, and because we shine such a bright light, they're just giving me that white image of the white wings, like that angelic kind of feel that we can see things from afar away before they come. And we, we've we opened up all our senses, you know. This is what I talk about all the time on this channel. Um, so I am getting that song today. I don't know what it's called, White Wings. Just like the white wings of... Mm -mm, sounds like she's singing. Oh, I don't know the song. But anyway, you guys will figure it out. You always do. Um, I'll see if there's something else to close with today. <clears throat> I'm getting Australia and I'm getting this song uh, I'm getting that song again by Michael Bublé I'm coming home another sunny day has come and gone away through Paris or Rome but I want to go home and to be honest I think this is about the little people in Australia we're getting, we are getting hit hard, guys. <laughs> you know, we have been. We've been right up there with all you guys. Probably not as severe as Canada and probably equivalent to New Zealand, I'd say. <laughs> but I'm getting that um, people of Australia just want to go home, meaning they just want their home back. They don't want to be living like this anymore. So sleepwalkers. Um, we've already found home and our haven and our safe place, if you're here on my channel. Um... We've managed to find a way back to that feeling of freedom that I talked about yesterday in the video. But I am getting that song. They just want to go home to their old lives. Well, that's gone forever. <laughs> Here's this another CV variant. God, what did they think was happening? You know, people really thought this. And seriously, I think back to what a lot of people said to me in the beginning, and you would be the same, guys. You know, they said, it's only a couple of weeks to flatten that curve. We can all do it. If only people would go and get the jab. I had girlfriends say that to me. You need to just go and get the jab so we can all get on with it and get on with our lives. Hmm. That went well. And here we are, three years on, same old. <laughs> oh, no one's saying that to us anymore, are they? Funny that. <laughs> God. Oh, dear. Okay, let's see. Hang on. <clears throat> God, I'm getting American. I'm getting... <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just going to share the song. Bye-bye, Miss American. Bye. I'm hoping this is bye-bye, Biden. Um... This will be... Well, I don't mean that he's going to die because that's a line in the song, isn't it? But I just don't... I think his time is up. I do. I'm just getting that bye-bye, Miss American, bye. Let's take that as... <laughs> it could be Biden's time to, you know, scoot out the door. Um, I feel like that is definitely coming. <laughs> it has to. It's ridiculous. 
Oh, maybe that's why they're trying to clear the document event and just let him leave on a on a high so he doesn't look so bad. God. Um, so I'm getting that song. Hang on. <clears throat> God, I'm getting this weird song today. <laughs> and it's showing me... Sometimes you guys I talk about us walking through this um, western town and we're sort of on our own, but we still feel safe and protected as weird as it is in this whole journey and story we've been going through. And it's just showing me those tumbleweeds, you know, like that real sort of desert western town image. And we're just still walking along and I'm just getting... I'm getting this song, The Yo Man... It's down the road. Do -da -do -da -do -da. I don't know the rest of the words to that song. Um, who sings it? Is it Creedence Clearwater Revival? I don't know. I'm just guessing. Um, the old man is down the road. And it's showing us still walking along. Um, the old man is down the road. Hang on. just what I'm getting. I'm going to have to leave you with that image. You guys are going to have to figure that one out. The old man is down on the road. Is this, I think that's what the song's called, isn't it? Um, well, and we're still walking out of this western town. We're still walking out the western town. We're still moving forward. Um, hang on. God, I'm just getting a song for us to finish today, and it's called, well, it's by the Eagles. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got this right. Um, and it's Take It to the Limit again. So we've got to take it to the limit again. And again, I'm just getting that soaring eagle energy again, the white wings. Um, we've got to take this to the limit. We can't stop now. We've got to keep going. We've got to keep moving forward. I'm getting that Western guy or girl um, walking along and we got to take it to the limit. We've got to just keep pushing and pushing and pushing this freedom to the limit now. And that's for us as individuals and as people. So I want us to go and play some of these songs today and get inspired, listen to the words and see what's in them. And I'm going to say goodbye from Australia today. Oh, gosh, time. Um, no, gosh, gosh, guys, this is just, we've got some strange times ahead. It's going to be an interesting year. <laughs> oh, I just hope more people keep waking up somehow. It's so frustrating when these elites are in the media. It's like, how are we going? We need to get them all to come over and watch Rumble and all that and get the truth, the true channels. Oh, God. So sorry if my videos are late, guys. Um, it's very frustrating. They're holding them back. Um, all right, I'll say goodbye from Australia. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't and please comment down below and I'll talk to you in the next video. Oh, let's go check out some of these songs. Bye everyone. Have a great day. Bye.